Well, hello everyone. It's me, Daniel, with Website Candy. And two days in a row, you guys have gotten a video, believe it or not. I am actually on the grind, and I'm going to give you guys a whole bunch of videos. Um, so hopefully, you know, you guys are up to learn some things. And um, here, what I'm doing today, I'm in Photoshop, and I am resizing a bunch of images for a client. And I'm actually in-house right now. Uh, with the client as I'm doing this um, kind of a service I provide I like to kind of sit down with my clients find out what they want whether it's via screen share or face-to-face -face. Um, but this website right here is going to be called Bohemian Bohemian Paradise Dresses Bohemian Dress Paradise dot com and um, the website to be up and running in the next couple of days or so and we're actually just trying to get the products done and what I'm doing here is my workflow is I'm actually resizing these images that they have here um, a part of their inventory and it's pretty simple pretty easy uh, if you're new to Photoshop um, this is something that uh, you could do on your own if you're not necessarily uh, fluent in Photoshop or you don't necessarily know how to use Photoshop it's pretty simple and I kinda wanna just walk you through the process so basically I have my image here of the young lady in the dress it's a peacock dress looks pretty cool and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the image and here's my artboard um, if you're know anything about Illustrator you definitely refer to your stuff as artboard and I learned Illustrator before I learned Photoshop so I still call them artboards so Right here, I'm going to grab this image and I'm going to hold shift because I want to make sure the image drops directly in the center. I don't want to have to go back and forth as far as if the if the image is, you know, centered properly or not. So if you hold shift it'll drop in the center, I want to right click on the actual thumbnail here that says uh, for the layer, layer two, the background is my image, layer one, but layer two, I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to say convert to a smart object. Now once I convert to a smart object, I get this little icon here letting me know it's definitely in a smart object. So when I hit Command T on a Mac and Command Zero, I can actually see my bounding box as far as what I'm working with here. And I grab that corner and I hold Option Shift and it's going to scale proportionally. And I just, I'm just kind of making sure that her head and her foot is in the frame there. All this other stuff on the side here, I'm not concerned with that. Um, but I definitely want a full picture of the dress, so I'm going to hold Shift so I can scale on the access and you can see I got the whole dress there and I have her head and I have her foot and I'm just going to hit enter and commit that now that I've got it committed I need to save the image and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit command option shift and S is the shortcut for the save and once I save it I'm saving the original right here and I want to make sure that um, I get the highest quality picture so when I go to hit save even though you see right here it says original frame PSD and that's not actually what I'm going to save when I actually hit the word save there it's going to save into a JPEG and that's exactly what I want there so 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 now I'm just going to give the name a unique name the image a unique name and I want to name this five and hit save and that's it the image is done I can move on to the next one I can do a batch reload but I just wanted to kind of show you guys how to do this um, by hand to make sure that you actually know how to do it it's pretty simple pretty easy uh, the more that you practice uh, the better you'll become at it and your shortcuts will become a little bit easy to you so thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video alright have a good one goodbye